My name is David Filingeri and I work at the Thermal Science Lab at Loughborough University in the UK. The study that I will be presenting uh, was conducted with colleagues at the University of Palermo and we investigated the independent effect of sex and maximal incremental running on our ability to sense skin wetness locally. Well, we found that first of all, females were 14 to 17 percent more wetness sensitive than males. And this seems to be dependent on the fact that they were more cold sensitive than males. We also found that regional differences in wetness sensation exist. And as we move from the top of the body towards the bottom, we have an increase in wetness sensitivity. Finally, we found that exercise induced a generalized reduction in wetness sensitivity, which is in line with what we see when it comes to pain and temperature sensations and the effect of exercise. So all in all, our findings are significant from a fundamental, applied and clinical point of view. From a fundamental point of view, uh, our findings help explaining some uh, sex-related thermoregulatory uh, differences, particularly in the context of thermal behaviour. From an applied point of view, the body maps that we've provided in terms of wetness perception across the body could help improving the design of more comfortable uh, thermal and protective clothing. And finally, from a clinical point of view, we know that up to a third of MS patients experience sensory symptoms in the form of phantom wetness sensations. By better understanding the skin wetness mechanisms in the healthy central nervous system, we can develop models that can help us better understanding the effect of neurodegeneration in the central nervous system. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about our study published in the Journal of Physiology. The full paper was chosen as an editor's speak in volume 597, issue 13. If you have any questions, contact me at d.filingeri3 at Thank you very much.